This video covers the topic, finding solutions in an interval for a trigonometric equation using Pythagorean identities, problem type 1. As the topic states, we will be using the Pythagorean identities to solve these problems. It is always a good idea to keep these handy for when you need them. Let's start working through an example. Find all solutions of the equation in the interval 0 to 2 pi. The equation is negative 2 sine squared of x equals cosine of x minus 2. Looking at this equation, I recognize that we can make a substitution using one of the Pythagorean identities. Do you know which one? I think we will use the first one listed because it is the only one that contains sine and cosine. Yes, that's the correct identity to use for this problem. We want to be able to make a substitution for sine squared of x. Can you solve this identity for sine squared of x? Yes, subtracting cosine squared of u from both sides of the equation, I get sine squared of u equals 1 minus cosine squared of u. Great work! Substituting 1 minus cosine squared of x for sine squared of x, we write negative 2 times 1 minus cosine squared of x equals cosine of x minus 2. Distributing negative 2 to 1 minus cosine squared of x, we write negative 2 plus 2 cosine squared of x equals cosine of x minus 2. Adding 2 to both sides, we write 2 cosine squared of x equals cosine of x. Now, we can subtract cosine of x from both sides of the equation and write 2 cosine squared of x minus cosine of x equals 0. This step may be tricky to see at first, so I will make an analogy to an equation you may be more familiar with. 2 cosine squared of x minus cosine of x equals 0 has the same structure as 2x squared minus x equals 0. To solve this equation, we could factor out an x from the left side of the equation. Doing this, we write x times 2x minus 1 equals 0. We can set both factors equal to 0. Solving both equations for x will allow us to arrive at our solution, which is x equals 0 and x equals 1 half. Let's apply the same process to our trigonometric equation as if cosine of x is x from the example we just did. We can factor out cosine of x and write cosine of x times 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. Now we can set both factors equal to 0. Cosine of x equals 0 and 2 cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. Solving for cosine, we get cosine equals 1 half. To complete our work, we need to solve for x in both equations. First, let's consider the left half of our answer, cosine x equals 0. We need to find x values in the interval 0 to 2 pi that have the cosine equal to 0. We know that cosine pi over 2 equals 0 and cosine 3 pi over 2 equals 0. So, for this part of the problem, we know that x equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now, let's consider the right half of our answer, cosine of x equals 1 half. Again, we need to find the x values in the interval 0 to 2 pi, and this time they need to have the cosine equal to 1 half. We know that cosine pi over 3 equals 1 half, and cosine 5 pi over 3 equals 1 half. It looks like the answers to our problem are pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, pi over 3, and 5 pi over 3. Yep, that's right. Good work.